Pop 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 persuable. Ooh, I'm gonna tickle your booty. I <laughs> was going on. I know. Whenever I'm like super high spirited, people are always like in the comment section being like, "Persuable, do you do drugs?" No, I don't do drugs. I get drug tested every month because of my my career. <laughs> Can you imagine if I did drugs? I probably would act normal. Anyways, what's going on, my beautiful people? My beautiful people. How you doing? All right, let's see what happens. So, uh, we have an explorer somewhere around. This is actually just a quick match. It's not like ranked match. I'm not going to glorify it. And uh, sometimes I play on, uh, you know, with different characters doing different things. Terror Shock, baby. Oh, my God, Bruce Label. You're using Feaster. I know. I love Grizzly and Roxon are super proud of me right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He's a lazy-ass hunter. That's what it is. Sometimes when I'm feeling mad lazy, and I don't feel like doing anything. Like, yeah, I'm going to play Feaster because he's lazy. <laughs> now, I like to use Blink with him. Now, the reason why you'll see, like, some people over in China and even even uh, people on this server uh, use Puppet. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Wait. Oh, we got the rescue. Wait, 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 wait. Let me kill Doctor. Okay, I got Doctor. Doctor is down. All right. Well... It's all right. They're all injured. I got one dead, and now I got to chase after the other ones. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take down the portal. Wait, how'd they go down? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, no, what happened? I got to see this again. Hold on. Let me see what happens here. Hold on. I got to replay this. Hold on. <laughs> all right. So we got a play-by-play. They go in for the rescue. Oh, you see, that's what I'm saying. Lazy Hunter. All right, so I get the doctor. I put her in the rocket chair. What the hell happened? What happened? All right, so these both... Oh, oh, she's got the curse mark on her. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, she said... Wait, where did that come from? What was that? <laughs> All right, I'm not going to lie. This next comment's going to get me in a lot of trouble. But, like, Feaster is like the, uh, like the foreplay of hunters. You know, it's like I have a little energy. So, you know, I'll make sure I take care of you. But, like... <laughs> But, I, like, I ain't got enough energy to do the whole thing. You know what I mean, boo-boo? <laughs> Fun fact. Did you know the reason why I make so many sexual innuendos is so that you understand that sexual freedom is your human right? All right, so I put that tentacle right there to prevent her from being able to climb that window. It scared her, and that's actually why she didn't go through it. So I put that tentacle there specifically because I'm like, if you're going to hop that window, boo-boo, you're not going to make it out alive. So it forced her to keep running straight. Because I wasn't sure if I had enough time to actually hit her. So that's what I did right there. Just letting you know that there was strategy involved in that. Sometimes I wing it. But right there, I mean, I love chicken wings. Ha <laughs> ha, ADHD moment. Back on to what we were talking about. Put the tentacle there. Made sure that I made her run straight. And we're going to go and try to prevent the rescue. Now, I got lucky right there. All I did is just swing around and hit. And I think that the seer didn't think that I'd be able to do that, swing around so fast, and so he didn't use his owl. I kind of understand it. He probably should have been safe and used the owl to engage. Sometimes you'll have seers do this where they try to put their owl in between. Don't do that. You know, just go forward with the owl so you at least, you're guaranteed absorbing one hit. All right, so we got another player. Let's see what we do here. We're going to be patient. I'm trying not to do it too quickly. There we go. Oh, there, boom. Unfortunate for this person. And now they're going to get the rescue here. I can't terror shock all of them. I can sometimes, but, you know, I have a weakness. So I'm going to put the curse mark on the coordinator because I want her to be at least hit once. I'm hoping that she'll get hit once. We're going to move around over here. And this is, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to blink you. Oh, I missed the, oh, that's right. She gets the stun. Beautiful little stun right there. Completely throws me off guard. All right, uses another stun there. I missed the attack. I'm going to try to venture forward over here. And what she did wrong right there is that she moved too far. Stay by the pallet or relatively halfway. Uh, don't move three-fourths. All right, so we're going to fast forward this gameplay a little bit. I am now going after, so so Enchantress is dead. I'm going after the coordinator, was able to get her down with the tentacle right there. 
This is why I still prefer building Max Persona on a, uh, on a Feaster build. Um, I don't really use Trump's card for Feaster just because that Persona is just so important. If you're going to use Trump's card, then, you know, I still think that the, the West Wing is the most important. But, yeah, we'll do a little bit of defense right here, um, and we'll see what we can kind of pull off. This is a good opportunity to talk about my random thoughts. If you think about it, Russian Roulette is a mind-blowing game. <laughs> so I'm using this to see where the survivors are. For those who don't know, when you throw your tentacle down like that, whatever direction it goes into, it, it shows you the, the direction of the earliest or closest survivor. So we're going to see if we can do a little bit of defense. There we go. Sierra uses his owl. Good job. Oh, I blocked the flare gun. I blocked the flare gun. And I hit you through a wall. Oh, my God. Talk about glory hole, baby. <laughs> let me get him. Let me get him. Let me get him. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I got him. Oh, my God. It's like getting a damn McChicken from the dollar menu. And then they accidentally give you two, but you don't get charged for it. Boom. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> Hey, why are you sitting there? I got a joke for you. How do you tuna fish? You tuna fish by raising or lowering the scales. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's so, that so stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm going after the dancer. She's just, she's putting her little blue box down. I don't even care. You know, I want to go slower. There's benefits of going slower in life. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to, uh, where is she? Wait. All right. I'm going back. And, oh, sorry. It's all right. It's okay. You tried. You tried. Look at now I'm going slow as hell because of your dumb music box. You see, the game could have been over a lot earlier. All right, so you did a good job, Dancer. That happens. Whew. I'm running out of breath. I'm getting too excited. Trying to do this audio stuff. Yeah, like it takes a lot of energy out of you. <laughs> all right, so by the way, when you all go to college, when you write your notes, find easier ways to do your notes. I always wrote energy as N-R-G, three letters. Only you are reading your notes. You got to make sure you write notes fast because professors speak fast. Anyways, you see me doing that whole trick with the tentacle, right? Using that to see the location of where the last survivor is. He kind of gave up right there. Uh, I can't, I've been there before, trust me. There's times where I'm like, you know what the hell with this game. And I, <laughs> I just like, you know, take my body, choke me. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next game. All right, I'm not going to lie. I totally fell asleep. So this is my second time doing this. <laughs> All right, so when you spawn over here, usually there's two people always on the uh, left side of the map. You got one in the shack, one's out here. And at this point, I actually don't know that there's two people here until I put this down. I'm going to circle around, see how I just made them throw that. I can usually get this. Yep, hit them. Not sure if you saw that. All right, here we go. Now I know that there's two of them, so here we go. We're going to hit... Oh, got the Terra Shock. Ooh, you should get that tattooed on your bum cheek. All right, so I'm going to pick her up. We're going to go down into the basement. Baby, are you down, 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 down? Okay, no one's, everyone's going to unsub to me now. <laughs> All right, so we got the perfumer down. I know that. So he's waiting for me to prematurely throw this. I figured he's going to elbow pad in. I should have. I, I, I just I decided not to do it. And this was pretty bad because I allowed him to hide behind the chair. So he did a good job. I'm going to be patient. I'm not going to swing right away. I want to make sure I can hit this perfumer. Mercenary ends up leaving. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. He ended up moving too far away from the perfumer. I figured I have a little bit of time here. And now I know that the perfumer is over to the right. So what I'm going to do is I hit him. Boom. I got that. Yeah, connected. Yeah, baby. So he's going to go down. And then I'm going to go after, we'll see what we do. I'm going to put a peeper down. I'm going to put that peeper down because it's going to decrease his ability to heal himself, even if he has the ability to heal himself more. And I was able to get the hit right there. I actually am upset with myself because I was trying to get the foggy blade, but she did a good job making sure that she connected with a regular attack. And I was hoping that she, oh, good juke. I just missed right there. I do have 200 ping, so give me a little bit of slack. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I stick with the perfumer because my job is to at least secure one kill. Oh, ah, got you, boo -boo. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was obnoxious. All right, so coordinator is down. 
and I'm going to put another people down just to make sure. I didn't really need to do that, but I did anyways just in case with the, with the self-healing. I don't have tinnitus. I still have 200 pings, so be mindful of that. And I know that no one's going to be able to get this rescue in time, so I'm going to pick up the coordinator, and I'm going to put her on the chair. And this, this is a little uncomfortable just because coordinator has that increase in perseverance. But what I do know is that mercenary... If uh, Mercenary's probably getting healed right now. So we're going to fast forward this. Mercenary's been healed. They're sending two people in for the rescue, which is awful. And the reason why this is awful is because what, what, what you need to do is you need to have one person finish decoding so at least one person can get away. He did a good job there, was not expecting the perfume, and he was able to go back and make sure that I missed my hit. Um, so r right there, I knew that she was going to throw the pallet down. If she didn't throw the pallet down, I would have looked like an idiot just kind of swinging at nothing right there. So I took a gamble thinking, remember, with Kitan, there's always a gamble. And so I'm going to hit the thief. And this is just me showing a basic way of how I obviously I'm going to win this match. There's four ciphers up and they're all going down. And I'm not even going to show the rest of the match, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of how I play Ripper. I'll uh, show that foggy blade through the shack. Sometimes with the shack, I'll pretend like I'm running towards the window, like I'm going to throw it in through the wall, but I end up don't. So you end up running towards the open open door instead of the, uh, the pallet. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. You guys have a good night now. Bye-bye.